Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and hopefully you are doing fine this beautiful Saturday afternoon. And as you can see from that post... Uh, Bravo is either thinking about bringing Portia back or Portia is knocking on the door saying she got to be back before she be homeless over there. Okay, because we know Simon ain't giving them nothing. If he was showing out and proving, he would have went on and took that money and got married and been on a honeymoon and came back to tell us about it. Because, you know, they, they uh, be on social media with everything they do. If they go in and take a shit, if they could record that, they would do that as well. But there were talks, there was rumors going around that they want to bring Portia back for five million. Of course, we in the family over here, we ain't believe none of that shit, and we don't really want her back. You know, unless she really gonna come back and and be truthful, transparent of her relationship with her boyfriend. Because we don't want to see what Fallon had let us saw when Fallon was trying to be a friend of the housewives. He just looked real old and tired and through, didn't he, y'all? He looked like he was on his last leg. But when he got with Portia, everything changed. He was more youthful looking in a sense. He was. He was struggling dressing over there. And I was trying to get him the benefit of the doubt and telling him where he can go get some Scooby-Doo's. And their shoes is what I'm talking about. Men's shoes. But, um, you know, and he got her used this, used that as far as cars and houses and all that. I was like... The man rent everything. Everything. And maybe that's a good thing. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he's not paying a lot for whatever. And he's renting because he showed the hand of furniture to bring in the house. That furniture was like the state f- furniture where you go into a, a completely new subdivision. And you're looking at the home and they have it decorated. That's what we call uh, uh, what do you call it? I just said it. God, I need to take a nail. Stage furniture. He bought that along with the purchase of his down payment for his home. So I think he's still making payments. He ain't like, you know, brought it like boom. And it's not even a million dollar home. Or they inflated it a lot. But that's where we are with him. And you saw how he was on Portia's little uh, one season show she had. That was a hot mess. And then she wants to have Bravo get her a wedding special. I'm like, millionaires don't need nobody else's money to do what they want to do and make it do what they do. Now, we would have thought you was a millionaire, but I guess you some hundred thousands uh, type of person. And your ex, I mean not your ex, your boyfriend is said from your mouth to our ears that he basically was a millionaire. Billionaire. One of those two words. But he can't even get vetted on Instagram. He can't even let you a part of his home, meaning your name is on the house. And I know people going to say, well, how you know it ain't on the house? Well, I read between the lines, okay? I see what's not being said, and I understand it, and I overstood the assignment, which Portia failed completely, okay? Because why would you live with somebody and play shacking up? When you know what marriage is all about, you saying it's sacred, it's that third, but you ain't doing nothing. But uh, being a Jezebel by sleeping with the man, going around with the man, and you ain't even married to him, okay? And I know you giving up here and there, because he look like he like a little fun every once in a while, not every day. I know you ain't getting it every day, child. I can look at him and tell you, no. Between the alcohol and him smoking that cigar, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. But, um... Portia had a a guy come in her comment section of her video she was vlogging on. And um, he asked her what she can, she can wink now. Okay. Like you're winking at somebody, like you, you know, trying to get their attention or whatnot. 
He told her to wink as she was coming back to the Real Housewives of Atlanta for season 15. And she tried to make her eye not blink or anything. And I was like, girl, if you're coming back, you're coming back. It shouldn't be a secret. You know what I'm saying? All the rest of the other women got their contracts. So, did you get your own portion? Uh, because two weeks ago, you didn't have it. And the girls just already pretty much said, all of them are coming back. We're going to see them. It's going to be a good deal. But I'm trying to figure out where we're going to put you in the scenario. Because you're still a, you are a, um, a single person. You can't categorize yourself as being married. Because you're not. Only person married on this show that I see is Sonya, Candy, and Drew. We got Kenya. She's single. We got Sheree. She's single. We got Marlo. She's single. So we already got too many single people. Or they were married at one time in the relationship. No, they are no more. So I mean, if we want to keep with the theme, then Kenya should be gone. Ken, uh, Kenya should be gone. Um, let me see. Hey, I just said it. Sheree should be gone. But, you know, they're there. And they're OGs. It's just no sense of replacing them. They did a fantastic job with season 14. And Kenya didn't even lose a, sl a sweat. She didn't lose no sweat. She didn't lose no sleep or anything. She, it was just like walking icing on the cake. Okay? But she might have to be a villainator if you come back, Portia. Yes, if you come back, then that's another whole dynamics to the show. Um, cause I know Kenya's gonna wear your ass out, and Candy's gonna be over there too. Like, where he get his money? Da 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 da. -da. You know, she always like to play nice, Miss Nice Candy. You know what I'm saying? Cause she get what she want to know about you. And then she's like, mm, we can be here or there. You know, I like you, but then I don't like you. I respect you, and you know, if you uh, get to me ahead of time, you invite me to events. I will try to show up. Okay, Candy's just one of them kind of friends. All right, and you might need to have some some of those type of uh characteristics when you're meeting people and you know they done done you wrong in the past and you hope they have improved and they don't do those type of things anymore but showing is proven then you can see if you can trust the person um well let me see what was i doing i know i was doing something i was gonna let y'all listen to a video recording of miss portia saying you know or say, well, she really wasn't saying too much of anything, to tell you the truth. Um, hey, where did it go? You know, I saved it. Well, hell, I thought I saved it. Okay. It says no subject. Maybe that's it. Uh, uh, yeah, that's Portia. Okay. Let's see. See if we can get it to play. Lord. It's not playing, guys. What's going on? Let me see if I can catch it on her her channel. Well, she ain't really saying nothing. She really wouldn't. Well, just kind of running her mouth with uh, nothing coming out of it, of course. <coughs> okay, this is it, I think. No, this is not it. Uh, but we'll listen to her anyway. Okay, we are live. See, this is what my screen looks like. Have you ever seen my screen? But anyway, this is my screen. I'm doing Amazon Live. Here is my haul. It's all about fall, coats, jackets, etc. Um, and there's Lauren. Look, y'all, we got some audience members. <laughs> so log on right now, all right? Right? Tell them, guys. Log on right now. We are live on Amazon, okay? Okay, and I think that was yesterday. Um, she was promoting her, I guess, segment she does with, um, what do you call that? Amazon. I'm still trying to look for it, guys, because basically she wasn't saying anything. But, um, well, it really was that guy, and I showed y'all the email that he sent. I mean, it really was nothing. She wasn't saying anything, so... I know if they, she is coming back, I bet she ain't getting no five million dollars. Well, it's gonna be a lot of housewives on the different friend, the different um, states that's gonna be mad about that shit. Okay, but they wouldn't know, cause uh, I, I guess Portia wouldn't open her mouth and tell people how much she makes. Okay, 
so but i can't find the video guys if i find it later on i'll do a follow-up story on this just y'all so y'all can see it because she but she really did not say anything huh huh okay <clears throat> but um let me see here it's just pretty much that's it guys that's it uh she didn't really confirm she didn't deny uh she wants to keep us in a bubble to uh keep us waiting to see if someone around town can catch the real housewives of Atlanta filming you know what i'm saying then they can kind of see who's what and who's going to be there and those things does happen the uh, little paparazzi around here they get it out they like those exclusive shows and uh, i like i said i don't know what she's coming back for is she a friend of the family or the friend of the show or she's a, a real full peach holder so i don't know why we would need to add her to the cast other than she's gonna bring something with her and if she's gonna do that foolishness that she did on her own uh one season show we, we don't need it we don't that would continue to mess up her brand by those actions and, and that, that attitude she had okay but that's all i got i ain't got no more now see y'all on the next video Bye bye